Partnerships, I think, are important. But ownership partnerships, I believe, are problematic. Um, they often are. I like partnerships in business where you help me have a platform to sell my, my, my stuff. Maybe I have a platform to sell your stuff. And in that partnership, neither one of us get paid until revenue is generated. That's correct. And when we go into a business partnership of ownership, and I own 50 and you own 50, or I own 75 and you own 25, there's contention right from the start. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. It's a good lesson for you to have there. You have to think about these things. I encourage, if you're thinking about going into a partnership or getting an investor, sit down and go through the growth dilemma exercises. One other thing about the growth dilemma helps you think about is how big do you, business, you want your business to be three years from now? Yep. Some people are perfectly happy with stable 5% growth. They don't want to mess anything up. That's nothing wrong with that. But if you've got one partner that's happy with that, another partner that wants to triple the business every year for the next three years, what's going to happen? You're going to fight. Fight. And, and, and the problem, if you just have, if I'm the person who's going to run the business, I've got a, a financial partner, I, I think that's just a, rem, a disaster, recipe for disaster. Now, if I've got a non-ownership partner uh, that that I'm going to pay them money when they sell a product or service of mine, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with paying a big number for that because I think in order to scale your business, you've got to have different platforms to offer your products and services. You bet. Absolutely. Right? But that's different to what we're talking that's about. That's a different thing here, but it's part of the financial thinking. That's There's correct. no silver bullet on, oh, I've got a partner. He's going to put $20,000 into my business, $50,000 in my business, but he's not going to bring me a customer. That's not going to help. That's not going to really help you. Money often isn't the fix. No, it's not. People get fixated. One time, Fran, I, early on, um, a woman called, and she had invented, of all things, the world's greatest horse shampoo. Horse shampoo? Yes. Like horse shampoo, yeah. okay? And some <laughs> jerk had taken the only $40,000 she had to write the most magnificent, beautiful business plan you've ever seen in your entire life to raise $5 million. They wanted a building, they wanted equipment, they wanted to hire a management team. And I asked her, do you have a customer? <laughs> I said, go get a customer and go find a co-packing facility and we'll help you with some purchase order financing but sorry, you just wasted your $40,000 and six months writing that plan. Wow. And that often happens early on. The businesses spend too much time trying to raise money or they think they need more money than they actually do to get going. 